In this lesson we'll be covering tables, creating tables in HTML. Um, the way you create a table is by using the table tag and inside of a table I'm going to be using indentation, separation, just to um, make it obvious what the hierarchy is, what belongs to where. Um, we're going to create now a few rows with the tag TR, which stands for row. And inside of the row, you create cells. So I'm going to have one that says month, sales, and let's do costs. I'm going to have now, I'm going to create now a second row which is going to have another three cells and this one will have January many millions and zero costs and from there you can just duplicate this one and have a few more rows Let's fix it so that it looks a bit nicer and here you have a very simple um, table. Now, what about borders, spacing? Well, we're leaving all of all of all of the styling to CSS, the other programming language that we'll be learning. Um, but if you just want to have borders in your table, there's a there's a way of doing it which comes from the pre-CSS era, which is a, a tag that's that's called border you can just add it at one and then you'll have a border um, also there's another um, there's uh, there's a, a more semantically correct way of structuring a table because we know that these are the headers right and this is the body of the table so we can create uh, we can add a tag in here that's that's called T head that means the header of the table and we'll place the header row inside the head. Also, these are not ordinary cells, these are our headers. So there's another tag which is th. And that's what we want to have in here. The browser already has some default styling for it. So as you can see, it's been uh, made bold. And the body should also be in a, in a body. Um, tag and you can put all of that in here and you can have a footer as well now why does this matter at all um, it does and it doesn't it all depends when you're uh, when you're styling it's it's sometimes easier to, to work in this manner because then you can address directly what's in the header or what's in the body and give it different styles. That's one reason why it's good to do it like this. Another reason has to do with the semantics, with the meaning of what a table is. So a semantics has to do with meaning, right? And, and the header of a table has a different meaning than the body of a table. And, and um, search engines uh, are getting smarter and smarter and they're considering semantics when they uh, when they index your page, say Google indexes your table, and eventually they might be able to pull data from that table. So that's why also semantics is something important to keep in mind.